Let's speak now to Ak Akvia Eldad, who joins us from Tel Aviv. He's a political analyst and also a contributor to, to Haaretz newspaper. Welcome to the programme. It took so long uh, to put this coalition together, years. Why has this MP quit right now? I think that um, it was just a matter of time uh, when this is going to happen. This coalition, as you just mentioned, is hanging by a thread. It's a kind of a disabled government. Um, Edith Silman was not just a member of uh, Knesset, a member of the ruling party, Siamina, of the prime minister. She was also the whip of the coalition, uh, very dominant in the, in the parliament. So it's not just another member of parliament out of uh, 120. Ideologically, she and uh, some other members of the ruling party of Yumina, as well as other parties, they were voting with their hands in favor of the government, but their heart was with the opposition, headed by Benjamin Netanyahu. The other thing that is worth mentioning is the fact that uh, a little bit uh, longer than one year, next June, uh, Bennett will have uh, to, uh, he's committed to the rotation mm -hmm. with Lapid, he will have to uh, move his chair to uh, Yair Lapid, the head of the Yeshatid party. And uh, if uh, they had something in common, uh, Edith Silman and some other members of Yamina, with Bennett, uh, Lapid is just, uh, for them, it's black and white. They will not be able to, anyway to sit in, his, in a government that is headed by him. Okay, and right now, um, as you said, uh, Edith uh, Silman is not just uh, any ordinary MP. This was uh, the whip of the, of the, the coalition, a, a very prominent uh, person there in Parliament, and she's been asking for more people to, to leave the coalition. How likely is that, and what would that mean for the coalition and also for Naftali Bennett? Yeah, I, I think it's a slippery slope, um, because there are at least two other candidates. The only thing that can save this government is if the joint Arab party, headed by Ayman Ode, who is now, the, this party is in the opposition, will decide to cross the lines and uh, join this government. Otherwise, I think that uh, we are in a countdown for the next elections. Um, I don't see 61 members of Knesset supporting Netanyahu because that means that uh, the other Arab party, the Islamic party, headed by uh, Abbas, will have to cross lines the other way with the, with the Likud, with Netanyahu, which is very unlikely to happen. So I, I'm afraid that uh, one, less than one year after this government, as you mentioned, took a long time and many efforts to form it, I think that uh, we are looking at new elections this summer. In incredible. And just to be clear, you don't see a return of uh, Bibi the magician, Benjamin Netanyahu, back as Prime Minister for what I think would be the sixth time? Well, everything is likely in our coalition. Um, now it's time to mention that uh, he's spending time in trial and uh, the uh, last witness who uh, was very close to him uh, well, was telling us a very interesting story that uh, is not in favour of Netanyahu. So um, we may have elections uh, in the summer that will end up with the magician Benjamin Netanyahu back in town. Absolutely. I am not willing to bet against it. Incredible. Never boring. Israeli politics. Thank you so much for coming on the programme. Akiva Eldar, a political analyst and contributor to Haaretz. Thank you.